So De Struper missing with one of her arrows and dropping the first two set points. It's time for set number two. So the two Belgians will know each other well. Charlotte De Struper trailing will shoot first in this second set. And another one has gone to the left making a small adjustment to her sight. Of course, with the set system, she's got plenty of time to come into the, come back into the match. Yeah, that's the great thing, isn't it? The, 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 the chance to recover, but uh, missing the target completely, she's got to have a real reset. Seven and eight with those first two yeah. arrows. Is Stronger shooting all in the yellow for Julie Hellemans. Just 17 years old, remember. That's better from De Struper. So another two set points for Hellemann uh, and uh, a really good start from her. But uh, that at first arrow in the, in the first set, Chris, has uh, set the tone for Charlotte de Struper. Yeah, the, she, she's got experience in big competition as well. She shot at the European Games uh, two years ago now in Minsk. So she's no, no stranger to these cameras and, and, and being, being dealing with these distractions. But she's going left on the target. It might be the lights. It might just be... A little bit of nerves, hopefully she settles in. She's got plenty of time. Um, three more sets potentially in this match to come back. Yeah, but of course, uh, Julie Hellemans at 17 can do this in the next three arrows. And so there is a big chance to uh, get the bronze medal here in Papendal in the first of our medal matches in this uh, live coverage. Recurve discipline being shot today. And this is the recurve women's bronze medal match. Julie Hellemann leading by four set points to nil. And Peter Elzinger acting as the agent. It's time for set number three. So Chris, Charlotte de Struper uh, up against her teammate here needs to shoot some good arrows right from the start of this third set. Well, if she loses this set, she's lost the match. She needs to put some pressure on early. That's much better from her. dropping out there into the red and an eight. And that one going high, so still mini lead for Charlotte de Struper. She can put this set out of reach with a 10 now. to the nine. So a 10 required to share the set points in the third. And she's pulled that one wide as well. So Charlotte de Struper does get onto the board for the first time in the match. She's pegged back her teammate Judy Hellemans, but still trails by four set points to two. But Chris, uh, a stronger performance there for Charlotte de Struper. Yeah, I actually think Judy hit that last 10 she needed. So I think these set points will be shared. But she's got off the mark, uh, Charlotte de Struper. She just needs to get some points on the board. She's got a long way to get back into this one, but it's, it's, it's possible. 
Yeah, well, uh, a good shout there. We need to see uh, what the final judgment is on that third arrow. You can see there in uh, indoor range here, shooting over 18 meters, and uh, the judge and uh, the agent who, in the, the new regulations, is the only one picking up the arrows to limit the number of people involved. And we are waiting Everyone on to still confirmation has, uh... of the course. Chris, you were right. Scores in that set were tied, so it's 5-1, and it's time for set number four. The pressure on and gets a nine, Charlotte Strooper. Interestingly here, Julie Hellemans just needs to match Charlotte de Strooper to take this bronze medal. And a big opportunity has just presented itself. Seven for de Strooper. Means Hellemans could take a commanding lead right now. But just look at that. When the opportunity presented itself, Julie Hellemans Shot a six. So now out of reach here. And uh, a better final arrow from Julie Hellemans, but uh, the set points going to Charlotte de Strooper, subject to confirmation. Uh, Chris, it's uh, a game of uh, taking opportunities when they can't come, and uh, Julie Edmonds just uh, didn't grab hold of that one there. No, the door was open. She only needs a single set point to win this match, having already accrued five. So she only needs to tie the set with Charlotte. Um, just couldn't quite grab it when it was necessary. Um, Still, still got the advantage in this one. Still goes in as the favourite into this fifth and final set, though. Yeah, it will, of course, be uh, De Strooper, who will shoot first again in the uh, fifth and potentially final set, unless De Strooper can secure both set points. So 5-3 after four sets in this uh, Rico Women's Bronze medal match. Arrows retrieved. It's time for set number five. So some confidence will have been gained from Charlotte de Strooper in the previous couple of sets. She will shoot first in the fifth and needs to get the higher score over the three arrows. Second nine there for the Strooper. Couple of deep breaths there from Hellemans. Remember, she's just 17 years old. And that has clipped the line of a 10 for me and will be marked as a 10. So mini advantage to Hellemans. And into the 10 for a 28 for De Strooper, her best shooting in this bronze medal match. But a big opportunity now for Hellemans to claim the 
Papendal Invitational Recurve Women's Bronze. Oh, big wobble at the end, and you saw the grimace, and just look at that. That's popped out potentially into the seven, and it looks to me like Charlotte de Struper has managed to pull this one back from 4-0 down. It looks to me like it will be five apiece. Chris, your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. This will be the first televised shoot-off we've had for this Indoor Archery World Series. It looks like... Julie Hellemans with an opportunity to take it with that last arrow. That's a lack of experience showing through potentially. Only really competed internationally in junior ranks, cadet ranks up until now. Big pressure on this single arrow shoot off. Yeah, one arrow. And are they likely to uh, clean the targets, get fresh targets for this shoot off? Uh, you'd expect so. You'd expect so. Down at the other end, we've got our judge and. Uh, very, very, very experienced international archer in Peter Elzinger. Looks like they're going to change the targets, put some fresh ones up. Obviously not so many archers or not so many support staff in uh, the venue as would be normal at a competition. Uh, so COVID restrictions, all these archers here have to have a negative PCR test to attend the event. Uh, trying to keep the number of people inside this facility which which the Dutch training uh, just the Dutch Olympic team used to train on a regular basis uh, to as few as possible yeah, and as we mentioned before the uh, event has actually been uh, well it, we were originally supposed to be at the World Archery Excellence Center in Lausanne but uh, regional lockdown there prevented us from uh, going there which is what's brought us to uh, this Dutch National Training Center in Papendal uh, where they as Chris said, the Dutch Olympic squad train and uh, they are hosting visitors from Belgium as allowed within the rules and regulations. It looks like the targets are ready. Uh, so Chris, as you say, uh, one arrow each for the bronze medal here. One arrow each and they have to shoot in the center of the vertical triple spots. Closest to the middle wins. Well, just making the uh, rules clear to both these athletes. I'm sure they know the rules anyway, but it will be Charlotte de Struper, the 21-year-old from Belgium, up against her 17-year-old teammate, who will shoot first. One arrow, closest to the centre, will take the Papendal individual recurve women's bronze medal. Well, an opportunity here for Julie Hellemans. Big gap in between that arrow and the middle of a target. Oh, it's close. Uh, first glance, I think Hellemans has just done it. Chris, what do you think? Yeah, the angles on those arrows are slightly different. I think Charlotte's is a bit thinner as well, but all, all a bit of a optical illusion potentially, but I, I think it's clear. I think uh, Julia Elements a little bit higher, a little bit closer towards the middle. And uh, it looks like that is a concession there from Charlotte de Struper, who did remarkably well, uh, having dropped an arrow in the first set, going on to go four set points to nil down, and then slowly fought her way back into the match. Nervy moments for her 17-year-old opponent, but in the end it came down to a single arrow and it was Julie Hellemans who took the bronze here in Papendal. Chris, an interesting first match here uh, on this uh, recurve Saturday. Uh, that first arrow looked like it was curtains for uh, the trooper, but she did recover well. And that's the beautiful thing about the set system. Obviously, a few nerves. They've been shooting their qualification round here this morning in Papendal, but even if it's just a few archers, a small event, as soon as you put those cameras out in there, um, in the field, you've got a bit more show and pizzazz around it. Very proud, of course, 
and the pressure piles up and, and she just felt it in that first set that arrow of the first set went high went left missed the target but she recovered those set points gone took it to a shoot off but just couldn't quite deliver with that last arrow to to complete the comeback no, not, not quite there, but uh, great uh, performance from Judy Hellemans. At 17 years old, has gained a bag of experience here in front of television cameras at the Dutch Olympic Archery Training Centre and has bagged the bronze medal to boot.